What you guys, welcome to Game Take. Today I'm going to show you how to use your Stream Deck for when you're playing games like ETS2 or ATS2, setting up some buttons. So basically to convert your Stream Deck into a button box, basically. So here goes. <laughs> first thing I would suggest that we do is we head over and we load up the game so we're going to come into the game then we're going to head down here to options and then into keys and buttons because we're trying to get an idea of the buttons that we're going to want to use and I think the best way for this is a snapshot and then you can just keep scrolling through or make it better still if you've got OBS like do a quick video of a scroll through any way that you can uh, see what buttons it is that you want or make a list previous to that and write down what the actual primary uh, keys are once you've done your screenshot um your normal ones that most people will do will be like your enter your activate your trailer um hazards that sort of thing i think we'll do uh, activate trailer we're gonna do the mirrors on the screen and um, we'll probably do a couple of others just for this tutorial just to get you started and then we'll come out of the game so I'm going to assume that you bought your Stream Deck and that you've got it all set up. And uh, what you need to do then is open up your Stream Deck software, which is here. And we could even create it from a completely new profile. So let's do a new profile. It's called Profile 1, which is here. And what we want to do is we want to rename it. You can right click it. We're going to rename it ETS. Okay, so we're in ETS 2. We're going to create a folder. That will be for the next page, because you're probably going to want to do more than these. Now, I've got the Stream Deck XL, but you probably might want, if you've got the 15 button one, you might want to do things. So, I have a Create Folder, just in case. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come down and look for this, which is Hotkey. Now, you can use the Hotkeys and the Hotkey Switches. So, to start with, let's just put a Hotkey there. we we'll do a quick list just to make it nice and simple and i'll show you how to customize the buttons afterwards we're going to go to the first one the hot key we'll give it a title just for now and we'll call it attach if you click on this button here you can move it into the center like so and you can adjust the size up and down as you can see but we'll be making buttons for this afterwards so so click to assign and then just hit your t like so and that will be your attach button we move on to this one which is going to be your enter button in the game so we call it enter just for now and then we'll do which will be just for an example the mirrors on screen and off screen which is uh, f2 i do believe so we'll do mirrors like so that would be that one and then we'll do one that hasn't got a button assigned to it window open right window open right okay now for this we know that we haven't got a button assigned in the actual game so what we would do is we can make one up we will put in just o for now and then what we'll also do is we'll add another key i'm going to show you a trick in a minute we'll add another key in and we'll just call that close for a second and we'll have c but i'm going to show you a better way of doing this so what we'll do then and then we'll come back into the game we'll go to options keys and buttons and we did activate which was enter which is, should be right T for trailer, which should also be right. We had our on screen mirrors, which was F2, so that should be right. And open right window, which is this one here. And we had O for that one. Close right window, that will be C, which actually is taking a C away from cruise control, as you can see there. But it doesn't matter because this is just for a tutorial. So, and what we'll do then is we'll come into the game, uh, attach. You can see it's decoupling. 
So that works. And if we attach it, you see the legs going up there. So that works. If we press the mirrors, you can see we put them up on screen. Let's see if the window opens. Yep, as you can see, there's the window opening. And there's the window closing. So all of those were then controlled by the stream deck. But one thing you could do, instead of doing that with a hotkey, is to put a hotkey switch in. Now hotkey switch has an on and an off. So hotkey one, which is this one, we're going to call it left win left key one will do open and hot key two will do as close now I'm not bothered changing the buttons but then when you press these you'll see that they, they change on the screen if you can see it you watch the you'll see it just jumping across there okay so it's all be on one button hopefully let's just open up the game again easy buttons open the left window will be O and close left window will be C this time okay, as you can see it's taking it away from the right window which is why you need to do another set but this is to show you the hot switch working and then we'll continue the game. Okay, if we look to the left window, start the truck up, if we look to the left, they're using the hotkey switch on the stream deck. You can see it opens, and then you'd use the same button to shut it. So you still use two commands, so there's either way you can do it, but I would suggest that the hotkey switch is a better way because it A saves a switch and a button. So what you want to do is come up to your, let's say, your, your attach. If you click on this little button here, you'll see it says create a new icon. Now you can set it from a file later, which means if you've downloaded any or anything like that. So we know we need five buttons. So there's plenty of ways you can do this if you come down to the categories let's see if we can find something that looks like attaching something now you, there will be people that you'll be able to go and get these off of the internet i'm sure but attaching something if we go through the different categories you'll see there's applications but that's not a bad sign for entering and you see it, it it's it's a bit like photoshop or paint.net there's, there's layers so you could get rid of that first layer and then we could come in and do the size and we've got fit to width or you could go fit to height if you wanted to make that a little bit smaller you just come in you could have that say in the center we could change the color of the thing let's make that red and we could also change the background to change it to a green and then if we swap this layer over with this layer up here you can see with the thing and then we could add in a bit of text enter or whatever you're going to call it for your actual game now with the text you can adjust the font i quite like balby one sc I we'll love that one and then you could just move that to where you want it if you're happy with your button you just press this to save it and that will save it to your downloads folder so we'll do that one now we're going to move on and we're going to do the trailer attach button i'm going to pick a orangey color for this one and i think what we'll do is i'm just going to add in what one is the letter t so we're going to have t for trailer attach and then what we can do is we can have that fit to height which makes it a nice big T. We can drag it down a little bit so it's more in the center. Move it to where we're happy with it and save the key. So we've got a mirrors coming up on screen. So 
we could pretend that that was all mirrors. So then we want mirrors. Mirrors, okay. And we're happy with that. We download that. So for a background, I say this is just for tutorial sake. We'll have a plus sign. We'll close in and then we'll come up. Remove the plus sign. We'll put a minus sign in and save that one. Right now they've all gone down into our downloads folder. So what we need to do now is we can just come out of the Stream Deck software and bring that up to there because we can zoom in to that. And we're going to open up our downloads folder. Downloads. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag. Oh, I'm going to drag them into a new folder, which I'm going to call Stream Deck. Stream Deck ETS. I drag these. I'm going to put them in here, and we can get rid of that. Open that folder up, and there they are. So, okay, the attach button. I'm going to bring down. We're going to hold it over. We're going to do attach. And then we're going to do the enter one. Just drag it across. Hold it in front of it. Enter. It mirrors. All right, and then we're going to do this open and close one here. So, hot key one, which was open. For argument's sake, we'll call that. Right. And then what you do is you come across this little circle here, move it across to that one, and put the plus sign in. And now when you switch it, it'll be plus or minus, as you can see on screen just there. Okay, so that's one way of getting your buttons onto your Stream Deck. And as you do these, they'll appear on your Stream Deck immediately. You can get rid of these because we don't need them, or we can change them and use them for a different button. So you could you could make this your uh, parking brake, for example, and things like that. So now another way that we can get Stream Deck buttons by using a site called Clean PNG. Now some of these will not fit, and you will have to do some adjusting with them. But you can adjust them in Photoshop or Paint.net or type in clean PNG. Clean PNG, this is a site that I use quite a lot. I'm over to Clean PNG. Now let, let's suppose you were doing your parking brake. I'm not sure it would come up with anything, but now as you can see, there is a symbol that's very similar. So that's a PNG. So let's Grab that, and if you scroll down, you'll see free download. You have to do this just the once. Are you a robot? I'm not a robot. Don't touch any of these because they've downloaded something horrible to it. And as you can see, look, it's downloaded. Yeah. So let's see if we can find something for enter. Let's just put in enter. Sometimes you have to be creative with what you search for. As you can see, you get all kinds of weird stuff. But you can see the different, you can get all kinds of arrows. So for your indicator arrows, that would be good. There's your actual, like your enter symbol on your keyboard. So let's, let's suppose in, we go with that one. That is the enter symbol. I say some of these will be too big, but it does normally try to automatically um, resize them for you. So we had that. There we go. Let's just do a. If we use the back button, because I've had an idea. And just for a bit of fun. Okay, so then we would come out of Clean PNG. This is you would need to go through them all. And then if we open up our downloads folder. left window open just grab that i'll place that in there and you'll see that it just now says open you can just drag these in you'll see it resizes it's very clever
so anyway guys i hope this has helped i'll be uh playing about because there are ways that we can do things where we can use a multi-action switch and multi-actions but that'll be for a different video so let me remind you there's clean png that you can use to get pngs there are plenty of other different vector sites you could just google them bring them down as long as they're a png they can go into the stream deck and it will resize them anyway guys so i hope this has helped i know it's been a bit like hit and miss but you get the gist of it this is how you put the things in you just use your hotkeys and your hotkey switches and uh, you should be all right and good to go today's video sponsor is you well that's if you're part of the game take group over on facebook we have an official group page it's called the game take channel official group i'm inviting you all now to uh, go over join the group if you want and we're going to make it into a place to chat have a bit of a laugh you know without having to go through youtube comments and stuff like that so um there's only one question to answer to join and it's just for uh, a bit of research i'm doing and basically you'll find lots of interesting things i hope over time i only started it the other day so uh, if you fancy being part of the uh community let's get over there anyway guys thanks for watching so have fun with it play with it that's the whole point of this is to play with these things so have a play get yourself some good good buttons and switches and uh i'll catch you in the next one bye for now